Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I did another challenge. Uh, in the earlier parts of 2020, before you know quarantine and everything ramped up, I did a yoga journey with Adrienne. I did her home journey for 30 days and I really liked the idea of the challenge. It sparked a newfound curiosity and love for fitness and getting my life to be healthier. So I decided to do a, another challenge where instead of yoga, I did something a little more athletically inclined and I did 30 days of 100 sit-ups every single day. Basically what sparked this was that I really wanted to keep up this new fitness momentum that I had going and really to, I was starting to see a lot of better results of my body and my eating habits and I wanted to keep that up. So I decided to do this. I found the inspiration from, I think, Kelty O'Connor's channel. I don't remember if it was already her video of 100 days of sit-ups for 30 days or it was her video of a thousand sit-ups in a day, which I wanna try as well. It got me really inspired to try these things and to see how my body reacts to it and to see what works for me and what doesn't. So I tried 100 sit-ups for 30 days and this is what happened. So having just come out of my 30 day yoga journey, I immediately noticed that I was starting day one off with a good bit of interior muscle, but it was really lacking in my ab region, which is why I was glad to be doing this challenge. And mostly what sparked the interest in it was that while the yoga from the journey had been very helpful in building my overall muscle, and to see a little bit of weight change and muscle growth, it wasn't changing my ability to gain core muscles or um, developing of any really abs. It did shrink down my stomach a little bit, but I was more interested to see what this kind of exercise would do in developing my core muscles. I think I went into this feeling pretty okay about it. I think I was expecting a little bit more of a crazy result having done this for 30 days, but I think I was overcompensating a little bit. Um, not to say that there wasn't any results, there definitely was, but we'll get to that later at the end of the video. Going into day one, I definitely noticed that I had a little bit of some core muscles, but I definitely was lacking a lot of it and I could really see it in the lower region where I had some excess fat. Um, most women do genetically, that is uh, for certain, but I also later or now have come to realize that I also have a tilt in my pelvis. It, I think it's called an anterior pelvic tilt where I have so little core muscle in my lower stomach that my back compensates for it. So all of my back muscles in the lower region are constantly in pain because they're constantly stressed out from holding in all of the um, muscle retention that my core isn't using. As I notice that now, I'm like, wow, I probably should have been doing reverse abs instead to work on that muscle, but who knows, maybe that's the next video. But yeah, so that's hindsight. Good to know that that's most likely the issue. Again, I try these videos and challenges just to learn some new things about myself and my body and to try and challenge myself to get more physically active and healthier. Getting into day one. Okay, good morning guys. It's Friday's day one of my 100 sit-ups challenge. Oh, I'm, I'm looking forward to this, but I'm not looking forward to this at all. <laughs> the first few sit-ups were actually pretty good. It did, however, happen to get hard very quickly around like the 15th setup where I was really struggling to gain a lot more of that muscle mass and speed. It really started to kick in around the 20-25 mark that I had little to no core strength in me and so day one was just killer and those hundreds seemed so impossible. I'm like how the hell am I going to do this for 30 days every single day? And so eventually my mindset changed of course throughout the 30 days and it really did not it really did not set in until like almost literally day 30 that doing this every single day really isn't that bad. However, I think doing sit-ups every single day for me is not going to be beneficial for the rest of my life. And it's also really not that easy to do. 
However, I know that even though it's not something I want to do every single day of my life, it is something I do want to implement into my regular routine of adding about 100 sit-ups or doing a lot more ab exercises. And my God, did doing this beforehand really help with the newest exercise routine I'm doing, which you will see in the next fitness video that I put up. So have fun experiencing that with me. Um, I realized that by like day 15, I hadn't been filming the actual sit-ups past day one. Um, life had gotten really hectic at that point and I was just filming the recaps of the day and how I was feeling. So I guess that's the majority of the video now at this point. So yay. <laughs> anyway, back to the video. So it's May 7th. Uh, it's the seventh day of this journey and my, I'm away but I'm still doing these sit-ups. Um, today's the first day. Yesterday I felt a little bit of pain. Today I'm feeling a lot of pain in my tailbone. I really don't want to be doing this on a really soft surface because I feel like I won't get the same results, but it's very, very painful. So I think I'm gonna have to start doing this on a very hard, uh, soft surface now. <laughs> but yeah, in the last several days my abs have hurt. There's been a few times where I've not been able to fully get up, but then I have to take a break and come back to it. I still can't do more than like 25 to 50 in a row. And without stopping, it's not more than 25. <laughs> um, so I do them in 25 increments, try and make it easier, four sets. It's not bad, but I'm in a lot of pain right now. So I'm going to go get a new cushion and try that because the towel's not working <laughs> so i will see you guys in the next videos i think around day seven i really realized that i because of the lack of muscle in my stomach and the fact that i rarely do sit-ups i had a lot of tailbone pain from doing so many in succession and doing them so so much in such a short amount of time constantly it really started to put stress on my tailbone especially with being on such hard surfaces it just it didn't feel great i had started to see a lot of growth around day 14 day 15 in the way that i felt my core muscles really developing and by then i had started to really realize that i could add more exercises into my routine um, so i added a new routine it was like the early bird challenge with my friends so we were doing that and keeping tabs on each other that inevitably inevitably fell through i think because we all are such busy schedules but um, i did that for a few days threw that in there i think i went on a run once during that month but that was interesting um and that really seemed to help with a lot of things. Um, trying something else on top of it really seemed to work my abs more when I did sit-ups, which was a great turn of events that I did not expect. Um, plot twist. So I'm doing my workout and I realize it's been a few days and I was supposed to do a day 15 check-in with you guys and tell you how my process is going. I feel good now. Um, the last few days have been really hard to even get in a few sit-ups, let alone all 100, but I'm getting them in. Today feels a lot better. I'm a lot more athletically inclined today and more willing to do workouts. Um, I've added a few to today's chart. This looks like a lot more than it actually is, but I'm doing some of those. I've been adding in a few workouts here and there. And that's helping me alternate between doing sit-ups and other workouts. So when this video airs, I, it won't have solely been 100 sit-ups a day, but I'm still doing them. So um, here is my body results, I guess, as of day 17, what would have been 15. I'm starting to see some definition here along the middle and definitely along the sides. Um, you can really tell with the definition here. It would probably be better if I wasn't so pasty, but oh well. <laughs> um, still have a lot of pooch to get rid of, but that's okay. 
Um, starting to really see the definition here. We're starting to actually see the ab itself, the abdomen. I can actually like cover it with my two hands now, but getting rid of these love handles and this front part is a real pain. But yeah, I'm also starting to see a little bit of definition here in my arms. I'm gonna keep doing these and then I'll check in again in a few days. Um, if I don't remember like I did today, um, or I don't remember until a few days after the deadline, then it's probably on day 30 that I check in with you, but life's busy. What are you going to do? Sue me. Um, please don't. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to finish my workouts and I will see you guys in a few days. Definitely by day 29 and 30, I had really felt that my abs were solid. I could feel them forming. They weren't a hundred percent. Like I had a six pack in 30 days. That's definitely not what happened, but I really felt that they were developing under there and I could really feel them heading into the 25 day and the 30 day marks that I could really feel this definition and I was pleasantly surprised that I could now feel them even though I couldn't really see them all that much. Going back and looking at the day 30 results video. Um, I now realize that while it's not a drastic change in video, it is still very different from the day one footage. The day one footage, you could really see the curvature of my stomach. It was very rounded out. And from day 30, you could really start to see the sides of my stomach muscles and start to see when I turned to the side that the lower half, even though it was still bulging, and this is where I realized I had the tilt of my pelvis, was that um, you could still see it had flattened a little bit and that the upper ab definition was extreme. And that even though you couldn't see a whole lot of the lower ab development, you could really see the upper ab development, which is probably what was most of what I was working with um, when I was doing the sit-ups. Um, again, it's because I have very little to no muscle down in my lower belly. So that was pretty insane to look at when I was comparing the two videos um, from day one to day 30. Um, again, I'm really happy with the results that I got from this small challenge. Um, it was definitely not easy, especially for someone who hasn't done sit-ups since they were in like high school. Uh, I really haven't done sit-ups religiously since I was in like j and uh, when I was trying for track and that kind of stuff and cheerleading and trying to keep active then. but. It's definitely not the same now with the lack of muscle after gaining so much weight in high school. But regardless, I'm really happy with the results. It's definitely something that I'm happy and proud of. It has definitely helped me going into my next challenge, which um, if you guys are interested, I'm gonna leave a little teaser up here. God, this is hard. <laughs> This will be the little teaser that you guys will get for my third fitness challenge video to keeping myself healthy and ha active. Um, keep an eye out for this next video when that comes out. Hopefully that's within the next few weeks, maybe even into July. Um, depends on when I get it done, filmed, and edited. Thank you guys so much for watching and for everyone that was supportive of me during this um, really long and difficult challenge. Um, all the people that were supporting me on social media, um, thank you so much. If you guys aren't following me on social media, you can follow me at Books by Bailey. And I am on Twitter, Instagram, the likes. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. And if you guys would like to support me or you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys are interested in the next challenge that I'm trying, try and guess it in the comments, or if you have another one that you'd like to suggest, I'm willing to try them. Um, just leave a comment down below or send me a DM on social media. Um, I'm more than happy to try other things. I'm very excited for, to show you guys this next challenge. It is brutal. I'm into day three by the time I'm filming this, so. So I will see you guys in the next video and into my other videos um, on this channel as well. Go take a look at those if you're interested. Bye.